Did you know that gum disease associated with chronic heart disease? Or that bacteria from your tooth decay is associated with respiratory infections? Or even that long-term diabetics are at, are at an increased risk for dry mouth and gum disease? There are extensive studies that explore the association between oral health and chronic disease. However, very little is done to integrate the medical and dental fields. Professionals from both these fields need to come and work together so that, so that they are able to increase the awareness of oral health and its association with chronic diseases. The main aim of my study was to explore what has been done or what has been accomplished in the medical dental integration domain by evaluating programs in state health departments. I worked along with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, that supports 21 state oral health programs. Initiatives towards dental and medical integration was reviewed from these federally funded states and based on how effective their program was, how diverse their collaboration was with the chronic disease program and how, how successful they were and the current state of the program, five states were chosen to be comprehensively evaluated. The first state, Iowa, they conducted educational sessions for the dental providers of the state to incorporate blood pressure screening and tobacco counseling in their practice. Maryland worked with the state dental school so that they were able to provide the dental students to use a glucometer or a blood glucose monitor in which they could identify pre-diabetic patients in their clinic. Maryland also conducted a conference where dental providers of the state came together to increase their knowledge and skills on oral, he on oral health and pre-diabetic and its association. New York and Vermont worked with the state tobacco program in allowing the dentists the ability to provide tobacco counseling and consultation in their practice. Vermont also initiated a one-of-its-kind conference where they brought medical physicians and dental physicians under one roof to discuss what they can do to work together to improve the overall health of the people of Vermont. Virginia worked by providing educational sessions to their community health workers as well as the local area agency on, uh, agency on aging to educate the volunteers so that they were able to go out to the community and spread the message on the importance of oral health and its association with chronic disease. While we can see that these states have successfully tried to integrate the two domains, a lot of work still needs to be done to further this collaboration nationwide and therefore increase the overall health of the people. Thank you. Thank you, Nyla. So, Nyla, when <coughs> I almost gave you the same question. That'd be too easy. Um, so, how did you get interested in your research? Well, uh, when I was practic uh, practicing in, my, in a clinic back home in India, I found out a lot of the people, their disease was mainly because they didn't know what to do or how to maintain their oral health. So basically oral health literacy, right? They didn't know about it. So that kind of sparked my interest and I felt that, okay, uh, people usually give oral health a low priority compared to their general health. So if they were able to go to their physicians and physicians took an interest in their oral health also and direct them towards dentists, I felt that would really improve their overall health, I mean, by way of oral health. So yeah, that's, I mean, I felt educating them and increasing their awareness was what you need to do first before, you know, doing anything else. So yeah, that's how. Were you always inter inter interested in oral health, even as a child? What did you want to be when you want? What did you want to be when you were younger? I've al so I come from a family of health professionals, and everyone like we have nurses and we have physicians and uh, pharmacists. There was never a dentist in the family, so I felt you know we need to have a dentist. Why don't I like you know fill in that gap and <laughs> be the dentist of the family? Well, balancing so, yeah. out the team. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I do hope that I make. Uh, successful progress with my research, contribute some significant findings, and definitely make a difference in the society. I mean, it's five years is still a very small period to make a difference, but I see myself you know, getting there or doing something significant which can contribute towards the change. Fantastic, thank you very much. Thank you.